Yeah, what's up you guys? This is Gasson and today we are doing a top 5 for the best dark troops in the game. Sit back, relax, and let me show you my top 5 favorite characters that are dark troops in Clash of Clans. Alright you guys, kicking it off for our number 5 troop, it is the Valkyrie. Now although she is 5th, she is still a force to be reckoned with, and in my opinion, players are still experimenting with her to release her full potential. Now if you're going to be using the Valkyrie, these are some of the things that you can expect. The Valkyries are really good for trophy pushing. Uh, if you're looking to use them for farming, they may not be the best choice as they cost a little bit more and they're just not cost effective. And how do you use them is you can either use them in groups or spread them out. They're good for clan castle defense or clan castle attacking. And what that means is basically if you put them in your clan castle, they will defend pretty good and they are good against other enemy clan castles if you put them in a good spot for them to do splash damage. Now they are multi-target attacking. What that means is that they can attack more than one thing. Uh, say for example, if you have a Builder Hut and a Dark Elixir Pump, they will attack both of those because they get inside and fit in between buildings. So that is the Valkyrie coming in at our number five spot. Coming in at number four, a very unusual troop, it is the Minion. Now the Minion is actually the smallest troop in the game, unless you're counting of course the Skeleton Minions, but as an individual troop, these guys are incredibly good. Now what makes these guys so awesome is they're actually used in pushing, they are better in farming, and their cost is low. So some people might actually have an issue with them being fourth. Now of course that is debatable, and it was hard for me to put them down this low. But if air traps didn't take them all out in one shot, then I would put them higher. So how you can use these guys is they're good for air raids. They are support troops, especially for balloons and dragons that are just doing cleanup work. They're really good at nitpicking. What that means is if you're going for 50% victories, they can take out little building structures on the outside and help you out really good. They're pretty decent as defending your clan castle and attacking other ground troops that can't aim up and shoot. So if you guys are looking for a good poopy attack, go with the minions. These guys won't let you down. Ah, the Wits. Coming in in our number three spot, a troop with possibly the best character design and brought life back to Clash of Clans is the Wits. Now, when they first were brought out, the Witches were pretty much overpowered. They could three-star base with ease, with the use of a jump spell or two, and was one of the first troops to cause an outcry from the community to patch them. Now, this actually forced people to put their mega bombs outside of their base in attempts to stop witches attacking. However, it only took one patch to make the witches walk closer to their targets that balanced the gameplay out. So here are some things you should know about the witch if you're looking to use her. They are great for trophy pushing. In fact, they are one of the top troops used if you're pushing trophies. Now the reason I put these guys in third is they are a high trophy level troop. If you're looking to farm with them or for lower levels, it's probably not a good idea as you would probably use a lot of dark elixir to keep them up and keep attacking with them whereas you could use that to upgrade your heroes instead. Individually, witches are not that strong. They can spawn two or four minions at a time. However, in groups, that's where they really shine. They are awesome in a clan castle. They work pretty well against other opponents clan castles, but the best way to use them is to distract weapons with them. And that's when you put them in groups and have their minions distract all the weapons so that your heroes and other troops can clean up. On average, players use about three to five witches per attack, so if you have the Dark Elixir to spare, then go ahead, these troops won't let you down. Yeah, the Hog Rider is the only troop that I can identify with. These dudes are one of my favorite troops, actually. And in case you haven't been playing the game long enough, here's some black history for you. The Hog Riders used to suck. Actually, they were the worst troops in the game. They went for any and everything and they had no target. So, Supercell took them in and gave them a new ability to attack weapons. However, by doing so, they became the best troop in the game, causing mayhem and havoc wherever they went. As a result, there has been many, many, many attempts to stop these dudes from being so strong, including mega bomb relocations and complete base makeovers just to counter these troops. Until the most recent update, where Mega Bombs did about 75% damage on them. With the most recent update, this has knocked the Hog Riders down from great to average trophy pushers. However, they're still good at farming. 
The cost is mid-low, making them ideal for troops to use if you're looking to save. Their power are still good. They do pretty good damage on weapons if you put them in packs. So how do you use them? You can put them in groups, and with the right person behind the device, they are still capable of three-starring a base. Now with all these patches, one might think this is discrimination, but I for one will keep these guys as my all-time favorite troop and remaining on my number two spot. Coming in at number one, the Golem is the toughest troop in the game. When this troop first debuted in 2013 of April, it was most definitely a game changer for Clash of Clans. In fact, a pack of Golems could actually withstand the whole duration of the attack, forcing Supercell to come up with a new weapon design to counteract these Golems. A few weeks later, the Infernal Tower was introduced into the game and gave players a fighting chance to defend their bases. With the Infernal Tower and the Golems on the playing field, they would be the two ingredients to revolutionize Clash of Clans and lay out the foundation for ground attackers. So let's go ahead and look at some of the stats of the Golem. Coming in at 6 foot 2,000 pounds, the Golem is one of the best troops in the game for trophy pushing and the complete opposite if you're trying to farm with him. That is due to the high cost of the Golem, which is the highest priced dark troop in the game. Now although they can't dish out a lot of power, they can take a beating, so make sure you spread them out so that they pull weapons and tank enemy fire for the rest of your troops to get in. So Golem is a powerhouse and is definitely the number one troop on my countdown. Thank you guys for watching, my name's Guy Sun and this is me doing my top 5 character countdown. Be sure to check me out and I'll do more of these coming soon. Thank you again, Guy Sun out.